Wrist and hand overuse and chronic conditions. These conditions include TFCC injury, carpal tunnel syndrome, and ganglion cysts. The TFCC or the triangular fibrocartilage complex has a substantial risk for injury and degeneration because of its anatomical complexity and the multiple functions. Application of an extension pronation force to an axial loaded wrist, such as in a fall on an outstretched hand, causes most of the traumatic injuries to the TFCC. Dorsal rotation injuries, such as when a drill binds and rotates the wrist instead of the bit, can also cause these traumatic injuries. Injuries may occur from a distraction force applied to the volar forearm or the wrist. Finally, tears of the TFCC are frequently found by patients with distal radial fractures. Perforations and defects in the TFCC are not all traumatic. There is an age-related correlation with lesions in the TFCC, but many of these defects are asymptomatic, which means the patient doesn't experience symptoms. These lesions commonly occur by patients with positive ulnar variants. Chronic and excessive loading throughout the ulnar carpal joint causes degenerative TFCC tears. These tears are a component of ulnar impact syndrome. Even though natural degeneration of the ulnar carpal joint is very common, it is important to recognize. In cadaveric examinations, 30% to 70% of the cases had TFCC peripherations, chondromalacia of the ulnar head, lunate, and triquitrum. Cases with ulnar negative variants had fewer degenerative changes. Patients with TFCC injury usually experience pain or discomfort located under the ulnar side of the wrist, often just above the ulnar styloid process. However, there are also some patients who report diffuse pain throughout the entire wrist. Rest can help reduce the pain and activity can make it worse, especially with rotating movements, supination and pronation of the wrist, or movements of the hand sideways towards ulnar deviation. Other symptoms patients with TFCC frequently mention are swelling, loss of grip strength, instability and grinding or clicking sounds, also known as crepitus, which can occur during activity of the wrist. Treatment of TFCC injuries should include referral to a hand specialist. Treatment of TFCC injuries often occurs by treating the symptoms of the condition. If the symptoms become severe or the tear has been diagnosed, then surgery might be required. The carpal tunnel is located on the anterior aspect of the wrist. It is composed of a floor, the carpal bones, and the roof, which is the transverse carpal ligament. It contains eight flexor tendons and their synovial sheaths, as well as the median nerve. There are a lot of structures and a very, very small space. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a medical condition due to compression of the median nerve as it travels through the wrist at the carpal tunnel. The main symptoms are pain, numbness and tingling. This may be in the thumb or the index finger or the middle finger or the thumb side of the ring finger. Symptoms typically start out gradually during the night and pain may extend eventually up into the arm. Weak Grip strength may occur, and after a long period of time, the muscles at the base of the thumb may waste away. In more than half of the cases, both sides are affected, or both hands have this carpal tunnel syndrome. About 5% of the people in the United States have carpal tunnel syndrome. It usually begins in adulthood, and women are more commonly affected than men. Up to 33% of people may improve without specific treatment over an approximate year. Most cases of carpal tunnel syndrome have an unknown cause. Carpal tunnel syndrome can be associated with any condition that causes pressure on the median nerve at the wrist. People with carpal tunnel syndrome experience numbness, tingling, and burning sensations in the thumb and the fingers, particularly index and middle finger, the radial half of the ring finger because they receive their sensory and motor function from the median nerve. Ache and discomfort can also possibly be felt for more proximally in the forearm and even the upper arm. Less specific symptoms may include the pain in the wrist or hands, loss of grip strength, and loss of manual dexterity. Numbness and paresthesia in the median nerve distribution are the hallmark neuropathic symptoms of carpal tunnel entrapment syndrome. Weakness and atrophy of the thumb muscles may occur if the condition remains untreated because the muscles are not receiving sufficient nerve stimulation. Discomfort is usually worse at night and in the morning. General accepted treatments include physical therapy, 
steroids either orally or injected locally, splinting, and surgical release of the transverse carpal ligament. A ganglion cyst is also known as Gideon's disease, a Bible cyst, or a Bible bump. It is a non-neoplastic soft tissue lump that may occur in any joint, but most often occurs on or near joints or tendons in the hands and feet. These cysts are caused by leakage of fluid from the joint into surrounding tissue. The average size of these cysts is about 2 centimeters, but cysts that have been removed have measured more than 5 centimeters. The size of the cyst may vary over time and may increase after activity. These cysts most frequently occur around the dorsum or backside of the wrist and fingers. A common site of occurrence is along the extensor carpi radialis brevis as it passes over the backside of the wrist joint. Although most commonly found in the wrist, ganglion cysts may also occur in the feet. Most ganglion cysts are painless. Other than the frequent choice to leave the cyst in place, surgical treatments remain the primary elective option for treatment of a ganglion cyst. The progression of ganglion surgery worldwide is to use orthoscopic or mini opening method. Alternatively, a hypodermic needle may be used to drain the fluid from the cyst, and a corticosteroid may be injected after the cyst is empty. However, if the fluid is thickening, owing to the passage of time, this treatment is not always effective. There is a recurrence rate of approximately 50% following needle drainage or aspiration of ganglion cysts. One common method of treatment for a ganglion cyst has been to strike the lump with a large heavy book, causing the cyst to rupture and drain into surrounding tissues. Historically, a Bible was the largest choice or only book in a given household and commonly was used for this treatment. This led to the nickname of Bible bump or Gideon's disease for these cysts. This treatment is now not recommended. Chronic and overuse conditions for the hand and fingers include tendinopathies, including trigger finger and de Quervain syndrome. Trigger finger, trigger thumb, or trigger digit is a common disorder characterized by catching, snapping, or locking of the involved finger flexor tendon associated with dysfunction and pain. A disparity in size between the flexor tendon and the surrounding retinacular pulley system, most commonly at the level of the first annular pulley, results in difficulty flexing and extending the finger and the triggering phenomenon. The label of trigger finger is used because when the finger unlocks, it pops suddenly as if releasing a trigger on a gun. Injection of the tendon sheath with a corticosteroid is effective over weeks to months in more than half of the patients. When corticosteroid injections fail, the problem is resolved by a simple surgical procedure. The surgeon will cut the sheath that is restricting the tendon. Jaquervain syndrome is also known as blackberry thumb, texting thumb, gamer's tenosynovitis, and is an inflammation of the sheath or the tunnel that surrounds the two tendons that control movements of the thumb. Jaquervain syndrome is typically a result of repetitive movements and stress on the wrist. Postures where the thumb is held in abduction and extension may contribute to this condition. In addition, people who perform rapid repetitive activities involving pinching, grasping, pulling, or pushing have been considered to be at increased risk. Symptoms are pain at the radial side of the wrist, spasms, tenderness, an occasional burning sensation in the hand, and swelling over the thumb side of the wrist and difficulty gripping with the affected side of the hand. The onset is often gradual. Pain is made worse by movement of the thumb and wrist and may radiate into the thumb and forearm. Treatment for Dequervain syndrome includes managing the pain through price and NSAIDs, steroid injections, and immobilization or surgery may be also used for protocols in this condition.